ladies and gentlemen, science in this country has played a role in our mistreatment as well. And we're not surprised. I mean, what industry? It's like every single industry has done some harm to us. And reparations will always be an open conversation, whether you want to hear it or not. We got every right to bring that up, especially when we see stories like this. So this came out in the Scientific American, March 12th, 2021. Science need to face up to its racist history. Mm -mm -mm. So elevating science role in policy making is important. So is reckoning with how science has been used to harm marginalized community. We're the only community that they <laughs> marginalize. So beyond prioritizing an integrity-based scientific agenda. We must also address the root harm that science has historically symbolized for some communities. To build trust in science, the administration, they're talking about the Biden administration, will be required to look deep into the fractures between the American public and the science that has been orchestrated over the last four years, but stems well into the trenches of racially unjust history of this country. In the hands of the government and research, science has been a tool. And the infamous, and they were involved in Tuskegee, y'all. Yes, science was heavily involved in that. And the mistreatment of Henrietta Lacks caused victims to suffer while the field of medicine benefited. In my own work, the communities impacted by industry pollution, we see generation after generation living in the unchanged shadow of industrial facilities because government allows industry to self-regulate while economic benefits are given more weight than health. Over the past four years, the Trump administration even made every attempt to wipe out, decrease access to, and discredit science. The administration cast a pallor over science at every level of government. Going forward, it will be difficult for the American public to regain trust in democratic institutions and the policies they put forward if they don't see clear and direct attempts to turn around the actions of the Trump administration. But Biden's administration must go even further and truly engage in people in a way that hasn't happened before as to actively and at every step counter mistrust. Moreover, throughout the past year, people who have suffered environmental injustice and pollution have also experienced a heightened effect of COVID-19. A Harvard Chan study found that there is 11% higher chance of someone dying from COVID if they have been exposed to air pollution over time. Trust that has yet again have er been eroded in communities that have grown accustomed to be in dumping grounds for the world's contaminants. All right, so in New York, not New York, I'm sorry, in New Orleans, while the initial rollout of vaccines have seemed hopeful, a necessary public outreach campaign, which calls for cultural icons to ask the population to roll up their sleeves and receive the vaccine, points to the troubled history of health and medicine when the manipulations of science in favor of extractive and harmful agendas hasn't been dealt with, there is no doubt people will be wary. In the history of racial unjust, scientific research practices and the drastic measures of, um, you know, it really don't matter. Now they're harping on Trump, to be honest with you, what is Biden really going to do? Science didn't get this way because of either one of those administrations. It has always been this way. So, 
I don't know. I'm not on board with all this blaming Trump. I, I blame all of the presidential um, administrations for not dealing with racism that involves science. They're all really responsible for this. Okay, as the Biden administration roll out its agenda, it must remember that science don't, doesn't automatically equal trust. And that's when misused science has in fact caused substantial harm. Uh, okay, so mm, mm, mm. they use science as a tool for activating uh, around environmental pollution issues. Uh, what we've learned is that the pairing transparency with science and making science a public good from the beginning and creating direct and clear places for public input. Uh, so the use and understanding of science should be part of a reckoning we need to have. We're heading in the right direction to change course with new scientific leadership in the Biden administration, whose agenda uh, uh, directly attempts to counter disinformation but it needs to also address the history of science in this country while forging uh, new ways forward. We uh, re-enter the global stage. We must do the critical work necessary to address our own fractures with the science and society. Uh, the government, can balance the demanding issues of our time in which science is the tool to use while also making space for listening and building anew with American public. Uh, with the American public, we can slowly start to turn things around. Well, you got more optimism than, you know, than I do. I don't have no faith in your science. I don't have no faith in your medical community. And, you know, y'all want to talk about these things. I notice how convenient that is. You just want to, you know, <laughs> jaw jack about these things, but you don't want to go that next step and pour money into the black community that you have harmed all the way up into this time. I notice you always fall short on that when it comes down to funding and that funding is needed. It's needed. And the thing is, there is no industry that did not harm the black community. None, really all of you owe us. Every last one of you do. But yeah, you know, no other administration made racism and science right. And Biden is not going to make this right either. It is crazy to believe so. He's not. It's not going to be addressed. It's not even being addressed now with, you know, the only thing they are propping up right now is racism on the Asian community. I have never heard them talk this much since I've been alive. Any presidential administration, I have never heard them talk that much about racism in the black community. They will skip over us all together and prop up all this stuff going on with Asians. Let me know if there's an administration that have talked about racism in the black community this much, I have never seen it. I have never seen it and I know I won't see it. But y'all, please tell me what you think. Please leave your comment and subscribe. Don't forget to hit on the notification bell and I'll see you on the next video. Peace, family.